Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just wanted to say a few things. First, acting for this was pretty challenging, so I apologize if I did not portray you guys very well, or if I did not come out of my INTJ ness very well for the other types. Secondly, this is completely for entertainment and comedic purposes. We wrote this trying to be true to the cognitive functions of each type, but at the same time we did kind of play upon stereotypes for the comical aspects of all of it. So we're definitely not trying to say that this is like the cut and dry how every type acts. And we definitely don't condone typing on behaviors or stereotypes or anything like that. So this is just purely for fun and hope you guys enjoy. Can't you see you're wrong? No, do this instead. No, do this instead. <sighs> just let me do it. No, don't try to do it. Either do it or don't do it. I'll just do it because I know I can do it better. I didn't ask for your opinion. Uh, no thanks. I didn't ask for your help. I can definitely do this myself. Well, your opinion is irrelevant anyways, so. I think you'll find you're wrong. Well, yeah, I would have implemented your idea if it was good enough. That wasn't offensive, it's true. Why should I apologize if I've done nothing wrong? I already told you exactly how to do it. Do I have to tell you again? Uh, excuse me, do you need a reminder on how to do this correctly? Well, if that's what the rules say, then the rules need fixing. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. Everything has to make sense. Why doesn't everything make sense? That dress doesn't flatter your body shape. Here, use this chart. It'll show you the optimal way to dress for your body type. What? No, I never said you were fat. I was just trying to help you. You should find a job that has more upwards mobility. That will give you more long-term security. Whatever you're thinking of, I already thought of it 15 minutes ago, so you might as well just stop. No, I guess it's not impossible, but it is unlikely. Don't worry, I'll add it to my list. Don't worry, already adding it to my list. Here, I did this for you. Here, I got this for you. This will help you a lot. This will help you. Let me show you how to do it. It'll be much easier if you do it this way. Just let me do that. I can do it way quicker. <sighs> if everyone followed my lead, we'd be done already. I've sorted it all out already. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get it done. Of course that happened, how could you not foresee that? But it always happens that way. If the exact same factors are involved, then the end result is predictable, period. I can disprove that so easily. Just look around you and you'll find multiple instances where that's not the case. Evidence doesn't lie. A fact is a fact. Look, let me just physically show you the proof you need. I actually witnessed something yesterday that completely disproves that. If you don't put in the effort, you can't expect good results. If you don't plan for things, of course you'll be caught off guard. Just try it and see what happens. You can't possibly know that until you actually test it out. But there's so much to learn from just implementing it. We have the power to change the world for the better. We just need to focus and utilize our resources more efficiently. Did you know there's enough food on the planet to feed everyone? We just need to learn how to allocate resources more evenly. If everyone knew their optimal role in the world, things would just run so smoothly. Of course I want world peace. But based on the various courses of actions that it'll take to get there, it'll probably be centuries, if not millennia. Just find your personal strengths and develop them. It's in our best interest for everyone to be fulfilled and happy. Uh, no, I can't make you happy. Only you can make you happy. Oh. Hi. I'm so lost. I have no idea what I'll be doing 26 years from now. How was my day? Mm. Sorry, I need more time to think about that. Let me get back to you. Mm. This just isn't as good as it could be. Oh, was that offensive? Can we discuss how to optimize our relationship? Do I want to go out? Why? Do I want to see that new movie? No. Sports game? No. Coffee? Mm -mm. Ugh. People everywhere. It's so hard for me to make friends. I don't know why. I guess I'm just a really rare special type. Am I okay? Yeah. No, no, no thanks. I, I don't want to talk. <sighs> Nobody understands me. Do you want to text? Um, sorry, I don't text. Why would I want to make myself available to people 24-7? It's lonely at the top. How did that make me feel? Um, hmm. I just need to think about that. Why can't anyone see that I have feelings? Um, yeah, so what's your point? Yeah, but what's the purpose of that? Well, what does it do? 
No, I really like people as like a concept. I do like socializing. It helps me gather more subjects to vet my psychological and sociological theories. I just want to make the world a better place. The world could operate perfectly. We're just all messing it up. What's my favorite color? Um, I don't know how to respond to that. You had fun? Hmm. You got engaged? Well, is that something you want? Or you enjoy being around people? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I suspected that would happen. I feel like there's a reason for that. I just haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, I just need some peace and quiet. Thanks. I just need more time to mull it over in my head. Uh, I don't feel fully prepared to do that yet. What do you mean I'm overthinking it? I really just need to research that a lot more thoroughly before making a decision. Ugh, why do I always leave things to the last minute? Uh, it's not quite finished yet. It's just not living up to my vision just yet. Uh, I don't know, I can't really remember the details. Everything in reality is connected. Cause, effect, cascades are everywhere. The butterfly effect is true though. Well, of course that's connected. There's always a reason behind what's happened. Yeah, that had about a 25% chance of happening. Um, I was prepared for it. Don't worry, I have like five other contingency plans to fall back on. I don't understand social protocols. They're pretty pointless. Everyone should just be themselves. How does following social norms serve us? Why does nobody else see things the way I do when it's so obvious? How can you not see that? It's so clear to me. I don't understand why people can't just see logical connections when they're there. But that makes no sense. Why would you do something if it makes no sense? It's not useless. It's knowledge. There are many ways in which that could be true, but I don't think yours is one of them. Why would I make a list? I'd just end up losing it. Anyways, I wrote a code that does my job for me. I wrote a code that picks my clothes for me. I wrote a code that does relationship stuff for me. What do you mean you don't like my relationship code? In the code, I already considered your point of view, so it should be flawless. Well, then can you show your logical reasoning so I can understand better? What's the point of life? What's the point of relationships? What's the point of society? Why do we exist? Why does the universe exist? Why? Why do people trust their feelings? Why am I sad right now? Why do I have feelings? Why? What are feelings? HTML is outdated. Windows is clearly superior. HTML5 is very simple. JavaScript is a primitive language. Of course I know CCS. Can I teach you? Um, mm. Why can't feelings be programmed? That's clearly a flaw of evolution. Ugh, I wish hormones could be coded. Have you seen my glasses? I can't find them. Where did I put my glasses? Can't find my glasses anywhere. I think I'm compassionate. I always do the most sensible thing when someone's upset. And am I compassionate? Maybe I could be more compassionate. That's logically irrelevant. This is a violation of what's true. <sighs> That's clearly illogical. Please define your terms. I disagree. I strongly disagree. Did I upset you? It wasn't my intention to upset you. I don't understand why people get upset by discussions. Correlation does not imply causation. Yes, but what's the mechanism? Ugh, TE users are exhaustingly primitive. But why does that work? How can you know it's true if you don't completely understand why it happens? But what's the basis of that theory? What's the principle upon which you're building that argument? Explain your reasoning. Why do you think that makes any sense at all? This is logically flawed. There's a huge loophole in your framework. If your first and second statements are both true, then everything that followed could not be true. Don't feel sad. It makes sense why someone would say that. One person's opinion cannot dictate what is actually true. Maybe many other people would feel differently. They are only one person in a world of 7 billion, so it's really inconsequential. I've been reading about that subject for 13 years, and there's still so much to learn. I don't think you actually understand what you're talking about. Do you know the underlying theorem? 
Have you actually researched the physiological mechanism behind that? If you understood theoretical physics, you would see my point. Why would I make lists? I'd end up losing them anyways. Oh my god, I just had a great idea. Maybe if we do this? Wait, no, that won't work. Never mind. I just had the best idea ever. Let me see if it exists. Oh, it does. We could do it that way. Or we could do it this other way I was thinking of, and then someone suggested this way, which could also work out, really. Why should I take notes? I'm gonna start water skiing this weekend. I'm really excited about it. I just started this course on graphic design. I think it will be really cool. Yeah, there are like so many ways in which you're wrong. I can actually think of like seven reasons why you're wrong, so. Don't hate me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we can do it this other way instead. Ooh, I am wrong, sorry. I'm going to be so productive today. Ooh, a documentary on a woman who only eats cheesy potatoes. Yes. How is that contradictory? Please explain how you came to that conclusion while I try not to laugh. I read this really cool book the other day. Oh, I saw this cool documentary the other day. I was just thinking about that the other day. Have you ever thought about time travel? Do you ever think about how we can manipulate the space-time continuum? What's your philosophical school of thought? Are you more of a nihilist, more of an existentialist? I can see the truth in both. Why would I have to choose one? But you can make either true based on your subjective inclination. Do you realize that we experience time through a very limited three-dimensional reality? Interstellar travel? That's so easy. Obviously, you'll need a spaceship with a near-infinite energy source and to invent the force field, which no one has ever done before. But, I mean, those are just details. How do I know that? That theory was from an article that was linked from a Wikipedia page that this YouTuber that I follow tweeted about, and I discovered him from the suggested bar when I was googling how to unclog my sink. What do you mean in reality? Which reality do you want to talk about? That's a possibility. There are so many ways in which that could be true. There are so many ways in which I could disprove that. True, but if you look at it from this angle, your argument no longer holds water. That has no logical basis. Maybe, but you didn't take into account these seven other possibilities. They could all happen in theory. You can't disprove that. But it's logically sound. Well, I suppose if you look at it that way. But there are like 20 different other possibilities. Why are you just limiting yourself to one? That's very deterministic of you. But we live in a multi-dimensional universe with infinite possibilities and you're stuck on those insignificant details? Now you're just not looking at it through the right lens. It makes sense if you look at it through this perspective. Oh, your perspective is so limited. Entertain this thought for a second. Don't worry, there are so many ways to move forward. The world is so full of potential. There are so many things that could be done. Oh, I have so many ideas. I could start an advertising company that literally advertises itself with every advertisement that we're paid for. Hmm. Could I program an algorithm to program other algorithms for me? If time travel is possible, then shouldn't it already be occurring? I just want to find a place where I belong. I want to find my people. Having a community makes logical sense if you think about it. Understanding universal truths is the best thing for humanity. <laughs> well, that's just absurd. <laughs> it's brilliant. All right, so let us know what you guys thought of that. Um, or let us know if you're one of these four types, if there are certain things you always say, or certain things you notice one of these four types always say. <laughs> Actually, maybe this is a good thing. In the comments, let us know how you are not any of the stereotypes in this video. That would be cool to hear as well. And this video is actually a requested video topic from one of our patrons. So thank you so much for suggesting it and for actually supplying some of the material that I used in it. As well, in the previous NF videos, there was a couple comments that people made about NT videos and I used some of your suggestions as well, but thank you for those. You can also leave us suggestions for the remaining types. I don't know if we'll split it up by SPs and SJs or STs and SFs, but yeah, if you have any things that you think some of those types will say, let us know and maybe we'll use it when we get to those videos. So if you guys want perks like requesting video topics for us to make, then you can go and check out our Patreon page where we have that and a lot of other perks for you guys too. And thanks for watching guys. Bye!